This lesson goes hand in hand with lesson 4.6, which was the other slope intercept form lesson. In that lesson, we were given the equation and had to create the picture. In this lesson, we create the picture and have to form the equation. So if you understand slope intercept, then this lesson should be pretty straightforward for you. Just as a reminder, the form for slope intercept is y equals mx plus b. m stands for the slope and b stands for the y-intercept. All right, so here we go. Um, in order to write the equation, we need the slope and the intercept. The intercept is going to be the easier one to find because you can just look on the graph. It's right here at 0, 5. So the B value is 5. The slope, you have to count the boxes. So to go from this point, 0, 5, down to 2, 2, I'm going to go down 3 boxes and to the right 2. So that gives me an equation, or I'm sorry, a slope of negative 3 over 2. Just pay attention to which way you're moving. We went down, which is negative, and to the right, which is positive. So now that we have that, you just put it all together in a formula. y equals negative 3 halves x plus 5. Move on. In letter B, we're going to do the same thing. The intercept is right here at 0, negative 3. So the B value is negative 3. And the slope, we have to count boxes. So from 0, negative 3 over to 3, 2. I'm going to go up 5 and to the right 3. Both of those directions are positive. Up and to the right are positive. So now we just merge it. Y equals 5 thirds X minus 3. All right, let's look down at example 2. We're still going to do the same thing, write the equation, but you can see that this is a horizontal line. Now in an earlier lesson, I told you that it would be helpful if you memorized what the slope is of a horizontal line. So if you did, then this one should be a piece of cake. But for those of you that didn't, let's look at how we can figure it out. So we need the intercept, right, the b value. That's the easy one to find. And it's right here at 0, negative 4. So the intercept is negative 4. So we need something that has in it negative 4. So I have a feeling it's probably choice A. But let's just make sure. And I say that it's A because that's the only one that even includes a negative 4 in it. And that's an important part of the equation. The other thing that we need to do is find the slope. So to go from 0, negative 4 over to negative 3, negative 4, I would do change in y over change in x. So change in y is 0 because I didn't have to move up or down at all. And the change in x is going to be moving 3 to the left. So that's a negative 3. So the slope is 0. So the formula for this is y equals 0x minus 4. Now if you have 0x's, then don't write it. So this is the same as y equals negative 4, which makes me feel more confident picking letter A. Let's briefly talk about the different choices, though, while we're here. Choice B would be the same line, only it would be horizontal through negative 3. So that's close, but not quite right. Letter C would be a horizontal going through 0. So that would be actually the x-axis. And letter D has a slope. Its slope is negative 3. And its intercept, since it's not showing an intercept, it would be 0. So this would actually be a slanted line going like that, going through the origin, having a negative 3 slope. So I definitely feel really confident picking A. Last one, example 3. Engineers are digging a 3,500 foot long tunnel at a constant rate. After four months, the engineers are s still need to dig 1,500 feet to finish. They start with 3,500. Okay, how much time does it take to complete the tunnel from start to finish? So let's see what we got. 
Well, what we can do is we can kind of figure out how much they're doing per month and then see what the plan will be in order for it to get finished. So if they start at 3,500 and four months later, they still have to do 1,500, that means that they dug 3,500 minus 1,500. So they dug 2,000 uh, feet in four months. So if I do 2,000 divided by four, I get 500 feet per month. So if they still have to do 1,500, that's going to be three more months to um, make it finished. So how much time does it take to complete the tunnel from start to finish? Well, that's going to be seven months because I started with four months and I just added another three months. Now, you might say to me, Ms. Lean, what the heck does this have to do with y equals mx plus b? And it actually does have something to do with it because the equation for these diggers would be y equals uh, negative 500x plus 3,500 because they start with 3,500 feet and they're going down 500 per month. So we didn't, it didn't tell us that we have to write the equation, but this is what it would look like. All right, if you have any questions, write them down and ask me when you come to class.